Welcome to Math 1033 course, which is Intermediate Algebra. So first of all, I'm going to ask you to download standalone application of Canvas to your phone. Okay, what for? Because uh, once I want to deliver you information, I'll uh, place it in uh, announcement and it instantly will come to your display. Now, to be able to instantly receive all this information, you need to release notification in your phone. Okay, it's in settings. Once you go to settings, so you either go to Canvas uh, uh, the application in settings or to notification. Depends on what kind of phone you have. Next, uh, I would like to talk about syllabus. What do we have in syllabus? In syllabus, uh, you will find my um, office hours, uh, which is going to be, the first of all, course is going to be completely fully online. It's uh, fourth credit hours, uh, elective credit only course. Um, my office hours, um, there are no specific of office hours, which means you can contact me whenever from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m., including weekends. If I am busy with some other student, I will text you right away and let you know that I will be available in, uh, for the, let's say, a few minutes. So my uh, phone number you can find, a uh, cell phone number you can find in syllabus, and as well as my um, email also. Now, what is this intermediate course about, intermediate algebra about? Um, we are going to learn about factoring, meaning factoring quadratic expression, factor sums and difference of cubes, and so on, all factoring polynomial. Then we're going to learn algebraic uh, fractions and uh, rational exponents, performing operations over them. Uh, we are going to get into radicals and rational exponents, and obviously operations uh, performing um, complex numbers we are going to learn and uh, definition and perform operations, quadratic equations. Those, this, uh, this course is very, very important course. The main, very, uh, the main topics of uh, algebra are in this intermediate uh, algebra course. So linear equation and inequalities in two variable, a system of linear equations, and uh, functions. Uh, introduction to functions. We are not going to get uh, deeply into functions because for that we have different course, Mac 1105. It's all about graphing and functions. Now, um, uh, what else I wanted to say? Textbook I'll say next. Uh, regarding uh, course policy, since this is fully uh, online course, so there is no attendance uh, per se, but online course uh, require uh, being organized and uh, responsible. So, and the more you log in to your course and uh, keep active work, the better you will perform. Uh, makeup uh, policy, Usually, I don't have any makeup uh, uh, the policy in the online class, but we all are human, so if something by any reason you cannot meet assignment uh, deadline, please contact me immediately to work out alternative arrangements. Um, be it for exams, be, be, it, uh, be it for test, be it for quiz. So you should uh, uh, the contact me in advance, okay? All right, uh, next, um, uh, you can find in syllabus uh, important days for the course and withdrawal po policy. It's everything in there, you can uh, read it. Uh, for disability, if uh, somebody requires more time, 
based on uh, disability, some issues, please contact the disability department. They send me email, inform me that these students uh, can be allowed, given more time for test, for quiz, for homework. Okay. Uh, what else uh, we uh, the, in uh, syllabus we can find? Technical requirements, practically, obviously, you have to have computer, Windows, you can uh, run uh, the course on Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer. Uh, the, I highly recommend use, um, uh, not to use Apple because it's giving sometimes hard time, especially with some assignments. Try to avoid. Uh, you can use also Opera uh, browser. It's a very good browser. Uh, there are uh, not many uh, ads, so I like it. I use it. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, well, and I'm not going to talk that uh, you have to have email, you have to have internet connection. That obviously is uh, clear. So, uh, if you need some technical help, being with um, Canvas or my math lab, we are going to work. Please, please, first thing, contact me. I sh uh, should be able to help you. Only if I recommend you go to support center, if something is wrong, then you go to support center because it's a big line in support center. It will take you weeks, maybe even. So please contact me right away. Uh, in most of the cases, in 99% of cases, I can help. Um, we tutorial Tutoring services, we have on a campus tutoring service. You can go to school, uh, student success center and get help with tutoring, or you can use it online, smart thinking online tutoring. Okay. Um, I said, uh, supposed to reply to all your emails um within uh, 24 hours but i usually reply instantly uh to emails and um, also i highly also recommend um use either canvas email or um which i might use my right to reply within 24 hours if i want see email coming in right away but uh, for instant reply, I highly recommend to text message me or even call me. So you can call me as many times as you need to or text message me for help. Okay. If you need, let's say, help with solving problem. So take a picture, print screen and send it to me and I'll solve step by step. So you can understand and send you back. And if you need uh, further help, we can get on the phone and I will explain to you or on Zoom or um, whatever application. Okay, next, uh, textbook. So whoever can be satisfied with ebook only, then to such students, I would recommend to purchase only my math lab access code because all assignments are going to be in my math lab access code you can purchase either uh, from pearson my math lab as you will be registering or from bookstore but i believe uh, purchasing from my math lab it's going to be cheaper and in my math lab you will find e version of your uh, e version of your textbook okay uh, and uh, the uh, name precise name of the textbook let me uh, see one second yes it's a uh, intermediate algebra with my math lab seventh edition by martin gay okay that's our textbook so students who likes hard copy you can purchase, obviously, it's up to you, but it's optional. Okay, now, um, 
I spoke already about textbook access. So let me uh, mark it. We are done with this. Talked about this, this syllabus, code to my math lab also. So uh, how are you gonna register? On Canvas, you will see uh, my math lab. Okay. And you go from there and it will take you straight to registration. So uh, what if you can't pay uh, the dollar amount uh, right away? For this type of students, uh, there is trial version. When you reach the page on my math lab where it's uh, requiring access code, and you can't pay right this minute to start. So Pearson gives you 14 days trial version. If you scroll down to the end of the page, you will see 14 days trial version. I have, uh, I will release the video in announcement so you can see how to re register based on trial version, okay? You can find it in announcement, which will come straight to your phone also. Next, graded activities. So what are going to have? We're going to have tests, quizzes, homework, final exam. Uh, we're gonna have um, free tests, 60% total, 20% per test. And every test is gonna have two attempts and highest grade will be transferred to uh, Canvas. The entire gradebook on my math lab will be synchronized with gradebook on Canvas. So all your graded activities, all your grades are going to be transferred to Canvas. And um, because on my math lab, there won't be any weight for activities. So your true grade, you have to look at gradebook on Canvas. So you see the uh, true grade, overall grade because the weights will be placed in on canvas in the gradebook, okay? Quizzes, we are going to have accordingly uh, three quizzes for test and one quiz for final exam. So practically it's gonna be two and a half percent per quiz. Um, quizzes are going to be unlimited access, uh, unlimited attempt. You can take as many times as you want. Homework, altogether, homework is 10%. Since you have a lot of homework, I can break it down and tell you how many percent is gonna fall per, per each homework. But overall, homework is 10%. And final exam is 20%, okay? So final exam is not gonna be comprehensive, but it's gonna be only for the uh, the last um, piece of uh, work, which is going to be, I think, chapter 7, chapter 8. Uh, you can see on my math lab uh, which uh, chapters are included in final exam. Uh, next, homework videos, something that my students usually love it. I have uh, recorded... Um, homework videos on my channel. I will place the link to these uh, homework videos in announcement. So that will be playlist and uh, you will see the uh, videos to your homework. It will guide you step by step how to solve uh, this or that problem in homework. And you don't even need to go to internet and look for solution for similar problem everything you need you will find in uh in videos uh grade book on canvas like i said all your grades will be right away uh, all your grades from my math lab will be right away transferred to canvas because it's synchronized and your true grade you will see on canvas because ca the cons there is calculated weight also now, uh, something I like about uh, Canvas, the gradebook on your Canvas um, allow you to project your overall grade. So 
to see your uh, the, to reach your projected overall grade you can place your projected grade from for this or that assignment it's not going to be saved once you close it but it will allow you to enter let's say if you want to get 85 percent uh, overall um, grade for the course you can place uh, which uh, projected grades you want to get from quiz test or homework to plan uh, to uh, reach this or that overall percentage for your course okay it's a very helpful student can see how, uh, the, how many percent has to get from test or from quiz to achieve the overall uh, goal for the course and lastly uh, my contact info my contact info are under this uh, video i place there my uh, cell phone number and my um, email address <coughs> excuse me hcc email address so again uh, the best contact uh, info uh, contact um, uh, contacting communication means are um uh, canvas but uh, sometimes can happen i can't instantly reply because i don't see uh, incoming email and uh, canvas doesn't notify so i have to get in there and check um, the best is uh, text messaging and phone call okay that's all i wish you good luck and you have um you have any question you can contact me anytime and as many time as you need to. Good luck to you all.